Okay, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I did in Audacity to um, make my corrupt WAV file work again. Um, just as a demonstration, you can see here, this is my corrupt take. Uh, and you can see the kind of the problems. There's a couple problems. The duration is zero minutes and zero seconds. Uh, it shows the correct sample rate in bits, um, and as well as the correct size. But as you can see, the duration's wrong and there's no preview in the finder to play it. And you can kind of see up here how I can play it and it starts the clip automatically. Everything else is correct. Uh, but I go here and it's not. So I'm just gonna kind of show you, test it in a couple places. I'll bring it up here. There's nothing there. It's not playing in VLC, which is usually pretty reliable. Uh, I'll try it in the native QuickTime. No duration, nothing's playing again. Um, and I'll even go to Audacity. I'll just let it play with the original file here for a moment. And nothing. I have nine tracks total, and it's showing me four for some reason. Um, a left right mix, and then two monos. There's nothing there. And I played this on the 7088 as well, and it's just not. Uh, there at all. So I'm just going to go and show you. Uh, go up to File, Import, go to Raw Data, find the corrupt file that you have. Um, this is mine here. You can see this is the one with a zero minutes and zero seconds. I'll open it up and it'll bring a little pop-up box here. Um, this is where you're going to put the settings that you recorded at. This is the default menu. Uh, I am at 16 bits, as we stated. I'm also at 9 channels. I know that for a fact. Um, I'm going to do the entire clip here at 100%. That's correct. I also know I'm at 48 kilohertz. So we'll do that. Just click Import, and it will import all of these clips here. Um, I've already done this, so I'm just going to stop it close this project and this is what I've imported and it will have the entire duration of everything that I have and so you can see here it's just it's it's a gold mine of does she have real feelings for you or has she just been this is our car ride this is from the start to the finish of this big clip I was missing uh, I went ahead and added these track names after I listen to them all just change it to whatever you need to once you're done with everything um, go to file export multiple go ahead and choose your locations and how you want to label it and you're good to go I mean so long as you named your track names the correct ones go ahead and make uh, a new wave file for each uh, for each track and here is my export folder and I've named each track uh, they're taking the file name so these are my plant mics and the mix tracks down here as well so um, all of that and with the corrupt file that I thought I had lost I tried a whole bunch of different things and this is what worked so I hope it works for you